Every detail of the upcoming presidential inauguration is carefully planned right down to the letters on the invitations. In tonight's presidential transition report, Gigi Barnett reports how one Baltimore engraving company is charged with that task. One by one, they're created, engraved invitations and programs for Barack Obama's presidential inauguration this month. We do pretty much everything in-house. To complete the job, the White House turned to Bree Wood engravers in Baltimore. And even though January 20th looms, engravers never rush. It looks like an easy job, but it isn't. It's a, it's a specialty type person that, that does this type of work. It's a craft that spans centuries. A small mistake can cost time and money. This engrave is like the Cadillac of a printing. Ernest Atkins runs Breedwood Engravers. He says the extra work comes at a time when the company needs it most. This time of year, things are a little slow, and the economy is not that good. So uh, this gave us a lot of work, and, and, and actually employees here, um, we work day and night. The engraving company says potential customers take note of Breedwood's clients in the White House. If it's good enough for the White House, it should be good enough for other clients. The process starts with a steel image, carefully completed by a master engraver. That goes to print on high-quality stock, and finally it's dried, sent to the White House, and ready for Inauguration Day. I'm Gigi Barnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Need a look at that. Thank you, Gigi. Stay with WJZ for complete coverage of the presidential inauguration. We're always on. Just go to WJZ.com for live events, extra video, and slideshows. Then on Inauguration Day, we'll be live from the nation's capital. Vic Carter, Kai Jackson, and Katie Couric lead our complete coverage all day long here on WJZ.